guys in this video we will be learning pandas data frame aggregate function in python i am using editor pycharm and python version 3.12 is installed on my computer right before getting started with any of the implementation with pandas library you have to install it first you can type in one command that is pip install pandas once you execute this command the pandas library will be installed on your computer so let's get started with today's tutorial right so what is pandas data frame aggregate function so data frame aggregate function is used to apply some aggregation across one or more column right you know aggregation so aggregation means we have few methods like sum min max right like that so these are aggregate functions so aggregate using callable a string dictionary or list or a string right i have to import pandas library okay we have to create a data frame quickly right pd dot data frame here we have to create a two dimensional array we are creating elements one two three let me take one more row that would be containing null values right so np dot nan right okay just to ensure whether these values are not getting considered in aggregate function okay here next thing we have to create columns name right we are saying my column would be a b and c so we will have three columns right and we will print now this df object okay if you're in the program so you will see the output right these are the values in fourth row we have nothing right it is null values now let's use aggregate function df dot aggregate you see okay if you see the documentation of aggregate function so you will see so we will be using first function okay i have to calculate the sum of all the columns right so then how we will say so i am saying sum i want to get the minimum value of each column okay that is also possible so let me take one new variable new object name to print the output okay if you're in the program so you will get sum and minimum row will be creating okay 7 plus 4 plus 1 12 8 plus 5 plus 2 15 so we have sum column wise and even you will get the minimum value as well right so in a column we have minimum value 1 in b column we have 2 in c column we have 3 right okay if you want to say max so your max value would be printed into the output right so you see max so we have max value 7 in this column 8 it is 9 so here this aggregate function will apply these functions onto all columns if you want to specify your specific columns to get the aggregate values i'm saying r2 okay here df dot aggregate so here i'm saying i just need a a column right and in my a column i need sum and min okay i would be getting min and max okay right if you're in the programs so you will get your output right for a and c columns so column wise if you want to apply your functions so that is possible okay now you see for c we have not calculated the sum because for c we have not applied the formula right if you make it sum also right so let me make sum then it will be calculated okay you can say max now you run the program so you will get the max value for c as well right you see 18 is now appeared and you will observe uh, the index has been replaced with this term right this function name okay if you want to make your index different so that is also possible you have to just say copy and r3 let me remove i want to say that would be my x index okay for a column i want max similarly y and z right so you will get output accordingly okay so your index would be changed now so if you say x for a we have max right for a we have max 7 right for b we have max 8 okay so we have max of c is 9 if you want to take other different function right if you're in the program so you will get right for c mean is 6 right if you want to apply the aggregate on the columns right so that is also possible r4 and i want to apply mean okay and axis would be my columns okay so if you're in the program on your columns right for zero row your mean is 2 which means 3 plus 2 plus 1 6 divided by 3 2 either you keep one or you keep columns as a value okay if you make it zero 
for eight entire columns so you mean is for right seven four plus one right which means 12 right divided by three which means four guys one more important thing is we have aggregate function also which works same as a double gg function right if you use aggregate so it will work same as a gg function right make it different variable name if you're in the program again so you will get the same output for this right one is a gg second is aggregate right that brings us to the end of the today's video we hope you found it informative and engaging don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more exciting content on all things tech related thanks for watching and we will see you in the next video